Moscow is halfway around the world from California. Flying into Moscow's Domodedovo Airport is located about an hour or more, depending on traffic, from central Moscow. There's a taxi desk at the airport where you can pay in advance, and it's a safer way than going with some of the renegade drivers around the airport. An alternative is taking the Aero Express into town and then using the metro. Moscow's Red Square is named red not because of communism or because of the red buildings, but derived from a Russian word that once meant beautiful, and now it translates to the word red. No one can forget the frightening images of Soviet military parades with rows of marching cadets, tanks, and missiles. But that's all changed since Perestroika. One is more likely to see skating rinks, rock concerts, or fashion shows these days at Red Square. And when it comes to historic buildings, much of what one sees today at Red Square is not actually old. The original Resurrection Gate was destroyed in 1931, but rebuilt in 1996. The original Kazan Cathedral, built in the 17th century, was destroyed by Soviet authorities in 1936, but blueprints of the building survived, and in 1989 it was rebuilt. But the iconic St. Basil's Cathedral is the original, which was ordered to be built in 1560 by Ivan the Terrible. A brave architect named Baranovsky was ordered to destroy the cathedral during Stalin's reign, but he refused and sent a blunt telegram to the Kremlin, which earned him five years in prison. But fortunately, saved the cathedral, which today is a museum. On the eastern side of the square is the shopping center known by most as Gum. It has been the site of a trading center for centuries. Before the 1917 revolution, it housed a staggering 1,200 stores. Today, there are all the leading brand names in fashion and accessories, a gourmet grocery store, and ice cream vendors. Even though it may be 14 degrees Fahrenheit outside, Russians flock for their extra creamy ice cream at Gum. The historic toilet at Gum, with opulent decor, costs 2.75 to use, but you'll rarely see a public facility more glamorous. There are a couple of five-star hotels in Moscow. The Ararat Park Hyatt is a close walk from Red Square and almost next door to the Bolshoi Theater. With 206 rooms, they have an Armenian and Japanese restaurant and a top-floor bar and lounge. The rooms are modern and high-tech. Good linens on king-size beds, bedside controls that operate temperature, drapes, lights, and things I couldn't even understand. The bathrooms are large, with lots of glass, mirror, and dark woods, with both bath and separate shower. The Diamond Fund is a fabulous collection of Russia's state jewels. The original collection dates back to Peter the Great, who created the collection, which would belong to the state, never to be sold or given away, only to be added to. But in 1926, two-thirds of the priceless collection was auctioned off at Christie's in London to raise funds for a struggling Soviet economy. But there are still amazing things, including the Orlov diamond, the world's largest sapphire, and numerous Fabergé eggs. Next to the Diamond Fund is a separate museum, the Armory Chamber. There is dazzling silver and gold tableware from the Tsar's time, ceremonial weapons and carriages, including the sled that Catherine the Great traveled from St. Petersburg to Moscow for her coronation. The Bolshoi Theater dates back to 1776, and today's Bolshoi Theater opened on Tsar Alexander II's coronation day in 1856. But recently, the theater has been in turmoil over an acid attack on the artistic director in January of 2013. Then, in March, a prima ballerina claimed that the theater was a big brothel, and dancers were enlisted as high-class prostitutes. The Ritz-Carlton is right next to the Red Square, and many of the 334 guest rooms have views of the stunning sights. With 11 floors and a Ritz-Carlton club, it has a myriad of amenities for the traveler. The hotel and rooms have a clubby feel, enhanced by the dark cherry and burl woods. The bedrooms are elegant, with frette linens, marble bathrooms, electronic finger-controlled panels for lights, drapes, and all in-room technology. One of the more popular dining destinations is Cafe Pushkin, a traditional Russian restaurant with great borscht and people watching. Getting around Moscow can be challenging, especially with the bandit taxi problems. Walking or taking the metro are the best options. The Moscow metro dates back to 1935 and today has 12 lines and 188 stations. Those stations' names are written in Cyrillic, so if one isn't fluent, it takes a little advanced planning. There's marble, mosaics, and sculpture at metro stations, and many claim the Russian metro is the most beautiful in the world. 
with over 7 million passengers weekly, it certainly is one of the more crowded metros in the world. The eternal flame at the tomb of the unknown soldier next to the Kremlin wall is a moving site that holds the remains of soldiers killed in the Battle of Moscow in 1941. Inscribed is, your name is unknown, your deed immortal. The city of Moscow with all of its new as well as its ancient history blending together is also immortal.